morning, good morning, good morning everybody, good morning and welcome to the Aroma of Prayer with your own Dr. Tanya Williams, grateful, thankful and excited for another day in the land of the living, good morning to you and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Aroma of Prayer, excited about what God is doing in this hour, this season and this time, as you come on, share the love, share the love, sharing is caring and caring is sharing. Sharing is caring and caring is sharing. We're grateful for what the Spirit of the Lord is doing in this hour, this season, and this time. And we're excited about the great things that the Father has in store. Happy, happy Friday to you. I know many of you are excited. Thank God the weekend is here. I heard that some storms are coming, but at at least uh, we will be uh, safe um, this weekend as we don't have to go out and about but good morning to you good morning good morning good morning and welcome 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 to the aroma of prayer i see the many of you that are coming on the um conference call line those of you that are on trueliferadio.net those of you that are on um our facebook live good morning to you and welcome 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 to the aroma of prayer as you come on i'm going to share the love share 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 the love i'm grateful we had a really good for those of you that are in my um watchman anointing class we had a very good class last 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 night and um i'm just excited about what god is doing uh in this hour and the things that he does continues to do to just and and enlighten us and just take us to a whole new place in him and I'm 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 grateful for it. So um, let me just let me just do what I have to do here, and uh, we'll be on the mark and get ready and go. I'm just um, grateful that the Lord loves us so so much that He just continues to keep us strong and to keep us blessed. Where as I am sharing, uh, I want to just prepare us for the weekend. The weekend uh, on Saturdays. 10 a.m. We have the power gathering, the power, the 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 the, the, the power gathering. So join us for the power for the power gathering. That's tomorrow Saturday at 10 a.m. Join me in the power gathering group. Those of you that do not have social media, you can join us also via conference call line to be part of the power the power gathering. And then on um, Sunday, join us 9 a.m. 9 a.m. for the uh, Power Sunday. We've been having some church on the weekends. God's been visiting us. He's been sitting on us, and we're just grateful for for what for 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 what He is doing in the lives of His people. So I'm excited. I'm excited. The many of you, you're faithful to to Him to call. You're faithful to what God has called, and I want you to get to get them pre prepared. We're going to be starting another class soon. I'm gonna give everybody a break. So if you might if you might have missed this last class with the Watchman uh, uh, anointing class, I'm I'm doing another. It's a different type of class, but that class is going to be starting soon. So uh, you can get yourself together. I definitely work with you financially. And um, I want to get you guys moving and shaking. Amen. Amen. So this morning I want to share. I'm not going to be before you alone. But to morning, this morning I wanted to share. Uh, my topic is the unexpected. The unexpected. Uh, the Lord is bringing clarity and understanding to certain things that we might not have understood. Or the Lord is bringing clarity. And this is the hour now of the unexpected. And it's in the unexpected is when is when you're not expecting it. Of course, that makes sense. And so when we looked at the, the, the definition of unexpected. Of course, it says not expected. But it says unforeseen. Unforeseen or or surprises and this is the hour that the lord is uh he's about to do some unforeseen things this might not have been on your your radar but it is on the radar of god uh he's about to surprise you with some elements that you never thought could 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 be but because you are on the mind and you are you are on the heart of god the Lord, the Lord has considered you for such a time as this, and he's going to show, show, show you in some, show some things in different uh, arenas in uh, your life. You never know 
who with God when God puts your name out there in the wind. You never know who God is going to use in that hour to bless you. But in the midst of the blessing will come will will will, will come will come will come the breakthrough. Amen. Amen. So I want to read for us this 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 morning. I'm gonna be reading from Second Kings chapter eight verse one through two to six. Uh Second Kings chapter eight verse one through six. I'm going to be reading from the King from the King James J, James version and um then then we're going to get moving and shaking. Amen. Amen. Well, I see everybody is coming on. Okay. So, uh let's see here. Okay, the Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 8 verse 1 through 6. The Bible says, "Then spake Elijah unto the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise, and go thou and thine household, and sojourn wheresoever thou canst sojourn. For the Lord hath called for a famine, and it shall also come upon the land seven years. And the woman arose, and did after the saying of the man of God. And she went with her household, and sojourned in the land of the Philistines seven years and it came to pass at the seven at the seven years end that the woman returned out of the land of the philistines and went forth to cry unto the king for her house and for her land and the king talked with gehazi the servant of the man of god saying tell me i pray thee all the great things that elijah have done and it came to pass as he was telling the king how how he had restored a dead body to life that behold the woman whose son he, he had restored to life cried to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, My Lord, O king, this is the woman and this is her son whom Elijah restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told him, So the king appointed unto her a certain officer, saying, Restore all that was hers and all the fruits of the field since the day that she left the land even until now. You got to understand, you know, and I teach uh, constantly about divine appointments, about uh, being led by the Spirit of the Lord. At the moment in which she was going to the king for her land, Gehazi was there. And at that moment, the Lord had it set up. I want you to prophesy to the north, the south, the east, and the west, and said, I'm ready for my setup. Yes, sir. I am ready for my setup. I am ready for a setup. There is a setup with my name on it. Yes, sir. There is a setup for my name on it. See, the story in 2 Kings uh, centers around the Shunammite woman. Mm-hmm. Who, who have been blessed by Elijah's ministry. See, you never know that, you know, some of you, because certain things happen, you're looking for that breakthrough, you're looking for that deliverance then, but you never know down the line how that's going to come and bless you. I always think about Joseph when Joseph was in prison and the and the butler promised, the, the butler promised, oh, yeah, 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 you know, I'm going to, but it it. it didn't happen the next day it didn't happen the next week but when the fullness of time had come the butler remembered joseph and went to the king on on him his behalf and the butler did did not know by speaking to the king he was now calling somebody forth who was now going to be ruler even over him you never know some some of our encounters, some of the things that you might have done for people and 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 you think, well, you know, I feel people taking advantage of me. I feel that I'm not really uh, getting my, my my just my, my my just deserves. But let me tell you something. When the fullness of time is coming, I'm telling you, it's going to be a setup and it's going to be set up on your behalf. Not only did well, let me not let me not go too ahead of myself. So not only was the Shunammite woman blessed with the miracle of a child at, at at an earlier date, and that was found in 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 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 17. But later now grow her 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 mature son was raised from the dead by the power of God, and that sound found in 2 Kings 4 and 35. 
You never know. That's why I tell you, you no, know, the Bible declares that the steps of a good man, they are ordered by the Lord. You never know when the Lord is ordering your, your steps. And as the Lord orders or orders your steps, you must allow the Lord to lead you and guide you. Well, God, why do I have to go then? God, why do I have to do this? Sometimes we're just all about the wise, 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 wise. But it is the wise that is now taking us to our taking us to our next. It is the wise that's taking us to 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 that next place that the Father has ordained for our life. It's it's it, it's in those times of breakthrough that that the Lord is 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 building us and shifting us to the to the place that He that 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 He has ordained for our lives. And that's the thing that I want you to be encouraged. And that's the thing that I, I want you to know that when the Lord is ordering your steps. He knows what you need when you need it and how you need it. And because the Lord knows that, he will shift you in that place at the right time, the right season, and the right hour. Sometimes we're fighting God, but not realizing that the, that, that the Lord is trying to what, set us up for, for our blessing. He's trying to set us up for our blessing. The story we see, we, we, we see here that um, Elijah's instructions told the woman to what to leave her home and go to the philistine territory to avoid the seven years of famine so while others will be in a season of lack while others would be in a season of poverty the instructions of the lord told her to go sometimes you don't know why god is ordering your steps well god why am i on this job why am i in this department why am i dealing with this manager you know it seems so challenging i am away from my people but the lord said it's a setup ah it's a setup. So not only is God going to give you what is deserving of you, but it's going to be pressed down, shaken together, and what? Running over. See, now when the famine was over, she came back seven years later. Seven years. Not not, not seven days or seven months. Seven years later. Uh -huh. Only to find to her, her, her dismay that her house and land no longer belonged to her. Mm -hmm. But understand and know whether it might have been seized, seized from the government or somebody might have encroached on, on the land. But it, it, it was no longer hers. But it was by divine appointment that she be in that place, that season and, 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 and that hour. See, in that divine appointment, in her desperation, this, this Shumanite woman with her son went to see the king. Mm-hmm. Hoping for a suitable answer. Hoping, well, Lord, maybe he will find favor with me. Maybe, you know, God, that, you know, you will show up for me, you know, because I'm back. And what, what was rightfully mine was taken away from me. Uh-huh. Um, she was going there looking for mercy. But little did the woman of God know. Little did the little God, the woman of God know that God had prepared a setup for her. God had prepared a divine appointment. It was unexpected to her. She wasn't expecting it, but it was already on the mind and the heart of God. It was already on the mind and the heart and the heart of God. Not only through her meeting the king, but also unexpectedly meeting Gehazi. See, you don't understand and know that before you get there, God has already set somebody in place to already put the word out on you. God, God, God has set somebody already in place to speak on your behalf, to put that favor out there for you. So many times we see it in a negative sense you know you might you 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 might find people that are jealous or envious and they go to people oh well no i don't want you to get this one because they're this and they're that and blah 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 without giving people an understanding to learn you or um to know you but when god is in it i remember years ago even before i started ministry years ago the the, the lord said to me he says i will be your pr person I remember that so clearly. He said, I will be your public relations person. And 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 in that, 
you know, I didn't quite understand it at that moment what the Lord was saying to me, but I definitely understood it as time as time went on. Just even, just even, you don't have to get out there and make a name for yourself. You have to get out there and try to do, you just do what God has called you to do and God will put your name in the wind. So many times I look at ministry and, you know, and I'm like I said, you know, I'm, I'm not knocking anybody who does it. If this is, this is what God gives, giving you to do is fine. But, you know, as a leader, as a minister, as a preacher of the gospel, you know, um, putting out flyers and says, I'm available to come preach for you. You know, uh, you know, I'll, I'll come do A, B, and C. I, I just feel that when it comes to the things of God, it should be a, a, a divine assignment. And I'm um, not necessarily a gig. I remember one time years ago uh, at church, uh, one of, he was a, he was a well-known preacher. He was a well-known preacher, and he was preaching one Friday night. And he was, and he made he made a comment. I don't even think he made he understood what what it, what he said. But he said, "Oh, you know, because uh, he 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 didn't live in New York. He lived in North Carolina." And he said, "You know, while while I am in New York, I I." I I am hooked up with some of my friends because while I'm here, I must make sure I, I have at least five or six gigs. He didn't say assignments. He said gigs. He said gigs, gigs while, while I am here. And I sat there and I listened because, you know, sometimes you got, as a watchman, you got to have a keen ear. Some things you watch, some things you listen. And, you know, your mouth, your, your, your words will reveal your heart. Your words will reveal your heart. So I was curious. So for the time that the preacher was there and the platforms that I knew that the person was on, he took the same message and just and just regurgitated it and just came in different ways. Was it the word of the Lord for the hour? No. But what it was because of who he was and because of the clout that he had with the people, it was just an open door for him. And I sat there and I listened and this is the Lord was sort of really dealing, dealing with my spirit. He said in this hour that, that, that which we do, that which we do for the Lord should be divine assignments. We should be led by the Lord because again, you know, the Bible says that we can do nothing without him. And so many times, you know, people are doing things because of either the exposure or the money, but not necessarily for God. He didn't say nothing about, well, you know, I thank God that the Lord gives me these assignments. No, no, no. To him, it was a gig to pay his mortgage. It was a gig to put more money in his pocket. And God and God was nowhere in that. And, you know, we got to realize that we got to understand that it's, it's in this hour that God is raising up a people that's going to be hungry for him, a people that's going to be thirsty for him, a people that's going to be led by him and led and led by the Spirit, a people that will know their God, know their God, have a relationship with him, and, and be willing to what? Do great exploits, do great exploits, to do great exploits for him. I, I You know, no matter, and I speak over this line this morning that no matter the doors and the platforms that God that that God allows to open for you always remember that you are on assignment you are on assignment by the almighty God and as long as you keep your relationship with the Lord secured and sure and speak what he tells you to speak the doors will always open for you do 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 not make this about yourself. There's so many times people say to me, other oh, times say, uh, PP people say to me, oh, doc, 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 we want to see your face. Last week they did. And it's not to say that I don't want to come on every morning all, all, all them dolled up and hair together and everything together to come and speak to you. But the, the Lord ministered to my heart. He says, I, I want them to hear my words. I want them to hear my words, not see you, but to hear my words. And I said, okay, fine. You know, God, no, no, no matter, you know, if this, if, if this is, is what you want. And I find, and I find it to be, and I mean, there, there's times and I will be going live and you guys will be seeing me and stuff. But there are times when, when you, when you are in need of something, sometimes we need to be 
focus on the word but many times i i'll I just truly be honest with you just now everybody has a platform especially with with, with the social media platforms with facebook live instagram live um, whatever it might be everybody has a platform and if you notice sometimes the first five ten minutes of of the of, of of the person streaming you're looking at them you're looking at what they have on you're looking at their face you're looking at their background you become so easily distracted so easily dis distracted where now you know you want to be focused on what the assignment that god has given you don't not now say oh but well, dr williams you going a lot i said no 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 i'm not saying that it's not necessary because at times people do need to see your face they need to see you but all but always remember ministry is not about me ministry is about him ministry is not about me ministry is about him i i've, I've spoken to people you know a lot of times people especially, especially the younger generation they come to me and for counseling and guidance and other different things and you know and sometimes i question you know oh well you know something happened and they're tagging all these people or they're putting their post on different people's pages and so i said so well what's the purpose of well i want them to know you you want you want them to know what when the oil is on your life you don't have to prove anything to anybody the oil will speak for you I want you to put that in the comments this morning. The oil will speak for you. The oil will speak for you. Your um engagements now might not be running, running, running over, pressed down, shaking together and running over. It might not be running over, but let me tell you something. I remember my, my current pastor, he, he said he said something maybe about a year or two, two ago. I'm just going to paraphrase it's not exactly the way that he said it but this is how i kind of in, in, inter in, 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 interpret it you know every platform is not for you when when you know that you are a quality subject every platform is not for you you are selective in where you go because you have to ensure that wherever you are going that it is an assignment from the lord it is an assignment from the Lord. There's some people, you know, you see them and they're on every single platform that you can think of. They're on every, you know, everybody has a talk show now on, on social media because of the pandemic. Because someone asked me, oh, uh, D D Dr. Williams, are you going to go back doing your talk show? Are you going back doing this? I'm like, well, to be honest with you, everybody that could be interviewed was already interviewed in the last three months. Okay, so what else new are they going to say except, to, except, except for regurgitate the stuff that they've already been saying on everybody else's platform? You know, <laughs> and, it's, and it's to a point where like, Doc, you think, you think like that? Yeah, I do. Because again, in anything you do, you want to be creative. You want to think outside the box. You want you you want you 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 want to be one that comes with something fresh and something new, not something that is regurgitated. I remember a time I had called somebody to come speak uh, for me. I think it was one of my pre-summit services, and I really in, enjoyed the uh, individual before. So we had a topic and everything. So the person came to speak, and the person regurgitated a message. This might have been about five about, about five years ago regurgitated message had nothing to do with the um with the topic of the pre of the pre-summit service Regur regurgitated the message and i can tell that they really didn't prepare they were just kind of operating off of their gift and i could discern even as they were ministering and i was annoyed because i knew at that moment they did not take the they the the, they they did not take the assignment wisely you know it was a uh, um an honorarium for them i mean and god came through don't get me wrong god him definitely came through the house but again you know you i could discern that there was no level of preparation you know, as they were driving to me, they probably looked through their iPad and pulled, pulled up a sermon and said, okay, I'm going to preach on this. And not truly coming with a word from the Lord. And you can tell when somebody comes with a word from, 
from the Lord. You want to be to a point where you come with a word from the Lord. Even when I teach my classes on th on Thursday night. Yes, yes, we have a curriculum. We have a we have a curriculum that we follow um that each each person is given, but even in the midst of the curriculum, there is a rhema word that is dispensed. There is a word, rhema word that is given to to them, the people, because that there is my prayer. I said, Lord, you know, there's a different, uh, different set of people here. Even though the um, curriculum is the same, your word isn't. Your word, your word has power. There's a revelatory knowledge and understanding and clarity and nuggets that you're pulling from this material to meet the needs of those. I've taught the Watchman class, I think maybe about five five years ago i think i've taught this class maybe about six or seven times already in different churches and different platforms online platforms other different things but this particular class was just amazing we had like almost almost 150 people in on the class and it was just absolutely amazing because in the midst of it it the word the word spoke to where we are now the curriculum was 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 created five years ago, but it spoke to where we are now. You want to be able to speak to the current situation, getting that rhema from the throne room of God. I want you to get ready for the unexpected. I kind of uh, diverted a minute, but I want you to get ready for 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 the unexpected. So understand and know that Gehazi was telling the king. At the very moment that the that the Shunammite woman walked in, Gehazi was telling was telling the king about how God through Elijah had raised this very same lady's son from the dead. Talk about what divine appointment. Talk about what the unexpected. Talk about what being in the right place at the right at the right time. This shocked the king and maybe even had him speechless. The king, in his surprise, then asked the lady whether this was true, and she affirmed it. After all, there's nothing better than a first-hand account. It was truly an unexpected divine appointment. And the end result was that she not only got her house and land back, but also the income from the land for the past seven years. See, God is going to send unexpected people across your path. Get ready, children of God. I hear that very clearly today. God is going to send unexpected people across your path. And when you least expect it, not only is it going to be a blessing, but it's also going to be a door, a door opening. That's why I tell you that the, the steps of a good man... They are ordered by the Lord. This is the hour now that we have to follow the Lord's instructions and allow him to lead us and guide us in the all in, in all truth. I want you to lay to lay your hands on yourself and say, I'm getting ready for the unexpected. Yes, I'm getting ready for the unexpected. Yes, sir. I'm getting ready for the unexpected. Ah, yes, because there, because there is an, a divine appointment that is happening for me. Mm -hmm. The unexpected is coming in my life and God is going to show himself mighty and show himself strong. But understand and know that we know even as um, the city opens up and there's going to be things that's going to be um, opening up for you. Make sure that that what you do, you are led by the spirit. Make sure the Bible says those that are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. Allow the Spirit of the Lord to lead you in this hour. Allow your spidey senses, I call them your that your 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 spirit, spiritual discernment. Allow your spiritual discernment to move to, to move upon you that your steps are ordered by the Almighty God and you enter into the rest of God. Amen. Amen. So I'm not going to be before you long. I know some of you have to get, get back to work because we are opening up. But again, I pray that this Lord has, uh, this word has blessed you, has encouraged you, has strengthened you and get ready for the unexpected. Get ready for the, now see, the Lord could have sent this Shunammite woman a month ago, a week ago. He could have, he, he, he could have sent her two weeks after, but he sent her at the moment that Gehazi was there talking to the king. 
See, not only are you going to get back what you lost, but you're going to get back what is due to you. I, that word, I want you to receive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only am I going to get back what I lost. Some of you lost influence. Some of, some of, some of you lost uh, 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 finances. Some of you lost uh, doors that were supposed to be open for, for you, but somebody tried to shut the door. I want you to get ready because God is getting ready to restore. But not only give you back what you lost, but give you back the income, the residuals on that which was supposed to be yours. Some of you, there was promotions that you were supposed to get that you didn't get. Some of you, there was um, um, uh, increases in your salary that you were supposed to get. Some of you, there was elevation that you are supposed to get. Not only is God going to give it to you, but it's going to surpass, surpass those that try to put their neck on you. Surpass those that try to hold you back and hold you down. This is your hour. This is your time. Uh, Sometimes it might have seen, you know, the Lord told us seven years. You would say seven years, God. But seven years was God's number for her level of restoration. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know. Get ready for the unexpected. Because the unexpected is waiting for you. Amen. Amen. So I thank you so much for joining me this morning. On the aroma of prayer. I pray that you were blessed. I pray that you were encouraged. Join me tomorrow 10 a.m. Join me tomorrow 10 a.m. For the power gathering. You can find us in the power gathering group. I will be at the church tomorrow. Uh, at 10 a.m. You won't be at the church tomorrow. But I will be at the church tomorrow. At 10, at, at 10, 10 a.m. And then Sunday join us 9 9 a.m. for the Power Power Sunday. Amen. So as you go forth today, be blessed, be encouraged, and remember this. Get ready for the unexpected because the unexpected is waiting for you. Have a blessed, wonderful, and awesome day in Jesus' name. God bless you, everyone.